Surface tension occurs purely due to cohesion uh, in case of water. The intermolecular forces of water forms a barrier, a surface, a layer that stops the object from penetrating through. Uh, if you completely submerge the object, it will fall through the water. How exactly do intermolecular forces form this surface? Let's think about it. Here's a bunch of water molecules. Do you think the water molecules at the top, on the bottom, or middle have the most intermolecular forces acting upon them? But the answer is actually the ones at the top. This is because the molecules in the middle have more molecules to exert intermolecular forces upon, so these forces are weaker individually. Sure, the oxygen needs to share its electron density and the hydrogen needs to take electron density from those oxygen of other molecules, but there is a threshold to how much the oxygen can share and of how much the hydrogens want to take. The water molecules at the top thus have less water molecules to exert intermolecular forces upon, hence individually those forces are stronger, forming a strong layer at the top. Now let's talk capillary action. Capillary action is a result of the balance between adhesion and cohesion, tipping off onto um, adhesion. So if cohesion is the attraction from two like molecules, then adhesion is the attraction from two unlike molecules. Since our topic is water, cohesion is when water sticks together, and adhesion is when water sticks on the other surfaces. Let's look at these two tubes partially submerged in liquid. If cohesion is much stronger than adhesion, the force holding liquid together is much stronger than the force created by the liquid sticking onto the tube. Then we will not see the water drawing up the tube at all, and it will um, form a convex a meniscus at the surface due to surface tension, like a half bubble, a real life uh, example for such liquid is mercury. Now, if adhesion is stronger than cohesion, then the water would draw up the tube, because it's, the system is much more stable when the liquid stick to the size of the tubes via adhesion than to each other via cohesion. And of course, because cohesion is still there, the liquid moves along um, the tube and creates more adhesion. Altogether, adhesion drawing the water up and surface tension uh, or cohesion keeping the water down, creating a concave meniscus. Now let's say that we have three tubes of different width, um, partially submerged in water. Which tube would have the water being drawn up the highest? It would be the narrowest tube. Why? Because the biggest the tube the more cohesion there is within the water, whereas the increased surface area didn't create more adhesion at the same rate. 